Hello, hello, hey, hello, hello. Hi guys, it's Tifaywa and welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, then welcome. As you can see from the title of today's video, I am going to be filming an unboxing of the new luxury handbag, a brand that I've never, ever, ever tried out before, so I am super excited. If you're excited about this video, then please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please, it is so important and help it to support me and my channel. If this is your first time here, feel out the vibe, and if you like it, consider subscribing. I upload new videos every single week. And yeah, I think that's it. So let's jump right into this video. Okay, so backstory. So you guys know that I love all things luxury. Like, I talk about luxury a lot on this channel, but more recently, I've really been wanting to, you know, dabble into a couple more contemporary brands. And it's so crazy, like the power of manifestation all these sorts of things because i was literally making a list of some bags that bag brands rather that i wanted to check out this year sunrev being one of them so when they reached out to me i was like this is so trippy sunrev reached out to me so that they would love to send me one of their bags yeah i am so grateful so obviously this bag has been gifted to me Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. And they do a lot of interesting designs, but this particular bag was the one bag that really spoke to me. Anyway, enough like rambling. Let's jump right into it. So it comes in a brown box. This was shipped to me by DHL. Literally looks like this. So it's a very simple, you just get the bag. <laughs> Slide everything out. This is what you get. The box says, inspired by women who do it all. I like that tagline. <laughs> I have this card right here from some of it might be a little bit hard to see with all the lights, but this is basically just a confirmation of the order. Then there's a little bit of tissue paper. In this bag, I got a chain that I will also show you later. The Sunrev is actually stitched on it. It's not printed, which is very, very impressive. The bag feels fine. It's just like a, maybe like a linen fabric. But yeah, I've never got a dust bag. Anyway, <laughs> this is the actual bag. <laughs> Let me um, adjust the ISO a little bit. So I will have to film this in natural light. Apologies, guys. It's not really showing the true color of the bag, but you can see it has this lovely buckle. It's a really nice champagne color hardware. When you push this buckle right here, the clasp opens, so that's pretty straightforward. We love a bag that's easy to work with. There where it says Sanrev, and then if you look inside, it says Made in Italy. And look at the inside, that cornflower blue color, it is so pretty. And it comes with three compartments. I love bags that have sections. So it has this section right here. This compartment here is really slim, so I almost feel like that compartment can probably fit like some paper or something. It also has a back pocket along here, so you could obviously put in like receipts or cards, just things you need easy access to. This bag is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this bag comes in nine different colors in different leathers as well. So you have so many options. It comes in the pebble leather, the vegan amica leather, dragon, which to me looks like a snakeskin type of leather, and then the vegan terra. Sand was the other color that I was trying to decide between sand or this color. But again, I really liked the champagne gold and I thought it was more um, spring summer, so I went with that. Chestnut. You guys already know, that would have been the first color I went for, but I already have my Celine vintage bag, so there's no need for that. Noir, I'm on a band, no more black bags. You guys already know. <laughs> Merlot, oh, this color is so pretty. This would be such a nice color for the fall, winter months, as would Forest for all my girls that love green. Ice and Barbie core are probably the colors that I would never consider, to be honest, and probably lavender. You guys know I'm more of a neutral girl, but it's so cool how many colors this bag comes in. And the cool thing about this bag is that Sunrev also sells a bunch of different chains. So I was able to also have a chain sent to me and with this, you can completely change the look of this bag. And it seems to be really good quality. Like it's really thick and it's a really good shine. It's not, I don't know, with chains, it can sometimes be a little cheap looking, but this one looks like really good quality. Oh, they're actually doing a promotion right now. 
Oh well, um, hopefully this promotion's still on because some of, I don't think they've sent me a discount code. If they have, I will link it down below. But right now they seem to be doing 95 pounds off if you get a bag and a chain. And these chains are quite expensive, like 120 pounds. I don't know that I would spend 120 pounds on this chain to be very honest with you. So it's great that they're doing that promotion. So the leather strap is actually completely removable. So there's so many ways you can wear this bag. So let's, oof. Let's do some mod shots and then I'm going to give you my first impressions. This is what the bag looks like on me. I am 5'8", so it sits on a really good length. I'm wearing it on the longest strap. And then if I wanted to cross body it, this is what it looks like. So honestly, this is where I like my cross bodies to fit, but I could obviously adjust it and have it a little bit higher. So I think the strap is a perfect length. I love the contrast. And even the way it looks alongside this like darker brown outfit is really, really nice. The clasp is super sturdy. Oh wow, that is so cute. So you could even just wear it like that. Like, isn't this like such a good versatile design? And then with the chain, right? Isn't this smart guys? So this chain is not adjustable. That's my only criticism and it is a little long there might be a way to double it up but with the chain I would rather it be like maybe like maybe up here so it's a little long the chain is a little long like this this is what it would look like cross body and again I'm 5'8 so I think this chain is a little too long I wanted to do a quick what's in my bag as well I'm just going to leave the chain on for the sake of simplicity. So, first things first, wallet. This is the Victorine wallet by Louis Vuitton. That fits really easily in the main compartment right there. I have my keys. This is a key clay from Louis Vuitton as well. That also fits very comfortably in the same compartment. I have some sunglasses. These are my Celine Triumphs. In the case, will that fit? Let's see. Yes, it does. So this is where we are at so far. These are pretty much my essentials. I have a really small umbrella. That fits, but now we're kind of pushing it. It's not, let's see if it'll close. This bag is a lot bigger than you think. It fit the umbrella, guys. It's, it's, it's a bit packed, but it fit the umbrella. Unfortunately, an umbrella is something you kind of need to keep with you in London, but I took out the umbrella. I'm going to put in some lip balm. This is the Laneige lip balm. I love this stuff. And I have some hand cream. That fits a bit more comfortably than the umbrella. In these compartments here and here, I don't really know what you would fit in them because they're really, really slim. Maybe like a piece of paper or something. <laughs> some AirPods would also fit in here. So just to recap, I have my wallet, my sunglasses, some lip balm, some hand cream and my keys. And that's honestly all I really need to take with me on a day to day. And that fits very comfortably without compromising on the bag. But yeah, I'm very impressed with this bag. I feel like it's big enough to take all of your essentials and then some. So what are my first impressions? Like, would I recommend this bag? So from a quality perspective, it feels really, really sturdy. It feels really well made. All of the stitching is intact. The actual hardware is a really nice champagne gold color. I like how minimal the branding is. It is one of those bag shapes that I think is incredibly classic. It's very similar to the Celine box bag shape and I just, I love bags that are this shape in case you don't know. I love the design of thoughtfulness that went into it. The fact that you can switch out the straps is genius. However, when you do switch out the straps, you have these details alongside the bag that are a little bit strange. So there's that to think about. It doesn't look as sleek without the leather straps in it. So there's that. 
However, the versatility of being able to dress your bag up and dress your bag down is something that I just think is so, so, so important. I love the different compartments on the inside so you can keep things separate, although the other two compartments like I showed you are quite small, so I don't really know what you would fit in there. But guys, I've been battling with my light all day. I'm not going to refilm this whole video, but just know this is a more accurate representation of the color. Overall, I think this is a great bag. I really, really love it. I love the versatility of it. I love the design of it. The hardware, I think, will potentially get scratched over time but because the leather is pebbled, I can see this lasting really, really long and the craftsmanship just looks amazing. So I'm really, really grateful to have this bag in my collection. The one con I would say for me is the price point. I had a look online and this bag retails for 645 pounds and the chain retails for 120, which in my opinion, for a contemporary brand is quite expensive. I know that Polen bags will run you about half that. Coach bags would be significantly cheaper as well. I've also purchased a bag that's a very similar shape to this from Demelier London, which was also about half this price as well. Having said that, I think that if you're able to catch this bag on a discount, then I would say 100% go for it. I just checked on their website and they seem to be doing a sale right now. So it might be one of those ones where it's pretty easy to catch this brand on sale. But honestly, if you are not sensitive to price points at all, then I would say go for it because honestly, I do think that it is a very functional bag and I think it is one of those bags that you'll probably be able to keep in your collection for a very, very, very long time. So I'm definitely going to keep using this bag and come back and give you guys some sort of update at some point. Like I mentioned earlier, I am definitely looking to introduce some more contemporary brand bags to my collection as well. I've just ordered a bag from Teflar, my first Teflar. That'll probably be the next contemporary brand unboxing that I do. But like I mentioned at the top of this video, I've been looking into loads of other brands because I definitely want to share with you guys some more affordable luxury brands in case you're in the market for a bag but you don't want to spend thousands and thousands of pounds, <laughs> okay? So that is it for this video. If you have any questions, if there's anything I didn't touch on that you want me to touch on, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what your opinions are. Thank you so much to Sonrev for sending this bag to me. Head on over to TikTok because I'll probably do more of a bird's eye view of a what fits in my bag on my TikTok when I start using this bag more often. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe, and take care. Bye.